Vladimir Sergeyevich Solovyev was a Russian philosopher, theologian, poet, pamphleteer and literary critic, who played a significant role in the development of Russian philosophy and poetry at the end of the 19th century and in the spiritual renaissance of the early 20th century. Life and Work Vladimir Sergeyevich Solovyev, the son of the historian Sergei Mihailovich Solovyev, was born in Moscow on 28 January 1853. His mother, Polixena Vladimirovna, belonged to a Polish-origin family, having among her ancestors the thinker Gregory Skovoroda. In his teens Solovyev renounced Eastern Orthodoxy for nihilism. But later his disapproval of positivism saw him begin to express views in line with those of the Orthodox Church. In his The Crisis of Western Philosophy, against the positivists, Solovyev discredited the positivists' rejection of Aristotle's essentialism or philosophical realism. In Against the Positivists, he took the position of intuitive noetic comprehension. Noesis or insight, he saw consciousness as integral and requiring both phenomenon and noumenon validated intuitively. Positivism, according to Solovyev, only validates the phenomenon of an object, denying the intuitive reality which people experience as part of their consciousness. Vladimir Solovyev became a friend and confidant of Fyodor Dostoyevsky. In opposition to Dostoyevsky's views, Solovyev was sympathetic to the Roman Catholic Church. He favored the healing of the schism between the Orthodox and Roman Catholic Churches, eventually, through an ethical and social standpoint, converting to Roman Catholicism. Solovyev never married or had children, but he pursued idealized relationships as immortalized in his spiritual love poetry including with two women named Sophia. He rebuffed the advances of mystic Anna Schmidt, who claimed to be his divine partner. Solovyev died at the Moscow estate of Petr Nikolaevich Trubetskoy, where Sergei Nikolaevich Trubetskoy was living at the time. Solovyev was apparently a homeless pauper in 1900, leaving his brother Mikhail Sergeyevich and several colleagues to defend and promote his intellectual legacy. Influence. Solovyev's influence can also be seen in the writings of the symbolist and neo-idealist writers of the later Russian Soviet era. His book The Meaning of Love can be seen as one of the philosophical sources of Leo Tolstoy's The Kreutzer Sonata. This was also the work where he introduced the concept of syzygy to denote close union. He influenced the religious philosophy of Nicholas Berdiev, Sergei Bulgakov, Pavel Florensky, Nikolai Losky, Semen Frank, brothers Sergei Nikolaevich Trubetskoy, and Evgeny I. Nikolaevich Trubetskoy. The ideas of Rudolf Steiner and the poetry and theory of Russian symbolists, namely Andrei Belaya, Alexander Bloch, Solovyov's nephew, and others. Hans Uars von Balthasar explores his work as one example of seven lay styles that reveal the glory of God's revelation. In Volume 3 of The Glory of the Lord, Sophiology, Solovyev compiled a philosophy based on Hellenistic philosophy and early Christian tradition with Buddhism and Hebrew Kabbalistic elements. He also studied Gnosticism and the works of Valentinus. His religious philosophy was syncretic and fused philosophical elements of various religious traditions with Orthodox Christianity and his own experience of Sophia. Solovyev described his encounters with the entity Sophia in his works, Three Encounters and Lectures on Godmanhood among others. Solovyev's fusion was driven by the desire to reconcile and or unite with Orthodox Christianity these various traditions via the Russian slavophiles. Concept of Sobornost his Russian religious philosophy had a very strong impact on the Russian symbolist art movement of his time. Solovyev's teachings on Sophia, conceived as the merciful unifying feminine wisdom of God comparable to the Hebrew Shekinah or various goddess traditions, have been deemed a heresy by ROCOR and as unsound and unorthodox by the Patriarchate of Moscow. Sobornost 
Soloviev sought to create a philosophy that could through his system of logic or reason reconcile all bodies of knowledge or disciplines of thought, and fuse all conflicting concepts into a single system. The central component of this complete philosophic reconciliation was the Russian slavophile concept of Sobornost. Soloviev sought to find and validate common ground, or where conflicts found common ground, and by focusing on this common ground to establish absolute unity and or integral fusion of opposing ideas and or peoples. Quotes. As long as the dark foundation of our nature, grim in its all-encompassing egoism, mad in its drive to make that egoism into reality, to devour everything and to define everything by itself, as long as that foundation is visible, as long as this truly original sin exists within us. We have no business here and there is no logical answer to our existence. Imagine a group of people who are all blind, deaf and slightly demented and suddenly someone in the crowd asks, what are we to do? The only possible answer is, look for a cure. Until you are cured, there is nothing you can do. And since you don't believe you are sick, there can be no cure, but if the faith communicated by the Church to Christian humanity is a living faith, and if the grace of the sacraments is an effectual grace, the resultant union of the divine and the human cannot be limited to the special domain of religion, but must extend to all man's common relationships and must regenerate and transform in his social and political life. Bibliography the Russian Idea 2015 creates space independent publishing platform ISBN 1508510075 ISBN 9781508510079 A Story of Antichrist 2012 Kasik Brothers Publishing Co. ISBN 1475136838 ISBN 9781475136838 The Crisis of Western Philosophy Against the Postivists, 1996, Lindisfarne Books, ISBN 0-9402627388, ISBN 978-0-9402627387, The Justification of the Good, 2010, Cosmo Classics, ISBN 1-61640-281-4, ISBN 978 8161640281 The Meaning of Love 1985 Lindisfarne Books ISBN 0-89281-068-8 ISBN 9780892810680 War Progress and the End of History Three Conversations, including a short story of the Antichrist, 1990, Lindisfarne Books, ISBN 0-940262-355-5, ISBN 978-0-940262-355-5, Russia and the Universal Church, 1948, Bless.